Occasionally after adding a toolpath, we are not happy with the start or the end position of the tool. To alter these, I'll select the Master Cam tab, then the Geometry for this contour toolpath, select the Chains tab, then select Chain 1. I'll scroll down in this window. Since this is a closed chain, the start and end point are the same. To move the starting and the end point of the tool forward to the end of the next entity, I can select this button. To move it back, I'll select this one. Selecting the arrow will allow me to select a new location from any one of these points with the large green balls. I'll select this one. Now I'll select Chain 2. And I can now alter the start and the end of the chain. With an open chain, I may not want to cut the entire profile. For example, I can decrease the length of the profile I cut by changing the start position by selecting these two buttons. I can decrease the ending location of the chain by selecting these. Selecting the arrow will allow me to select any point along the chain. If the wrong geometry was selected or geometry was missed, I can select the selection tab Select the chain and right click. I can now delete it or clear my selections. Or I can add a chain as required. After fixing my selections, I'll accept the changes and regenerate the toolpath. 